Hello guys and welcome back to another Toy Command video. So in the last video I fitted in the Toshin Kongyo DUTC paper in oil capacitors. So like a kid at Christmas, I fitted it all back together, put the preamp back on the, the rack here, plugged it in, started listening immediately because I just can't hold back. And to say I was disappointed uh, was an understatement. <laughs> um, it sounded dull really dull and um, lifeless, no detail, a bit muddy sounding, uh, I was thinking, oh no, what have I done? So I put in the, uh, the burning disc and I run that in for 24 hours, then I sat down and listened again and it would was marginally better, slightly better, very minimal. And uh, one thing I did notice was uh, once I'd swapped the caps over and I was listening, the first listening test, the volume had dropped quite a bit compared to these film, little film capacitors there which say Luxman on there, but I'm sure it's just uh, another company's made those and just put Luxman's name on them. So then I uh, left them running in a bit more. And it's only this evening that I sat down and listened. And all I can say is, wow. <laughs> I'm not joking, seriously. And I'm on a couple of uh, Facebook groups on tube amps. And I like, I'm always uh, putting comments on there and putting posts up. And it's amazing the amount of people that say capacitors make no difference. And the funny part was, is I put on there that I was breaking in these new capacitors, burning them in several ways, running them in, whatever way you want to call it. And all I got was snake oil this and snake oil that. And I had to sit down tonight and I had a serious listen and these capacitors opened up. And all I can say is, wow these are stunning i even had to get the wife in and i sat her down and i do all my listening tests in the dark and um and she just said it sounds brilliant <laughs> and i did the the initial listening in the dark when i first fitted them in and they sounded dreadful so this breaking it's not snake oil. It's actually very, very real. And I think it's, I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not that knowledgeable on on what goes on inside the capacitor. It's obviously molecules and the oil that's in oil in paper. Something's happened within that capacitor that has just really opened up. I mean, the depth is just absolutely stunning i mean this is the best i've had this system now and uh i've had i've been listening to this system for a while and i really can't believe how, how fabulous it is the detail is just stunning now i did lots of um watching of other people's videos on youtube uh, been on loads of forums of paper and oil capacitors and most of them are to do with guitar guys so guitar people put them in their guitars a lot of old russian uh, new old stock paper and oil capacitors 
and they put them in their guitar amplifiers and uh, and I had a few comments on this um, tube uh, group that I'm on on Facebook saying that uh, oh they're rubbish don't use those they're rubbish but I tell you what this is the best I've had so far this is the best sound quality that has come from this system and and the, the so we've got this drum going off and it's in the distance and it's so in the distance almost like it's quite a few miles away and it's boom 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 and it's absolutely stunning and i have these pan pipes come in and the clarity is just unbelievable and uh before I was filming this video yesterday, I was going to do a video and tell you that I've got it wrong and these are no good and I need to swap them out for something else. But it's amazing. So always give things time to settle in. I always say it's like buying a new car. So you get a new car or a new motorbike straight from the dealer. Um, I've only ever owned one thing that was ever new, and it was a motorbike, uh, 125 when I was 17, and I can't remember what I paid for it now, but it doesn't reach its performance level until you've run them in, so the piston goes up and down inside the barrel, and you need to ease it in slowly, you don't rush these things. And when I was younger, I used to be very impatient. And I remember taking that 125 and we put a big bore kit on it. And I can't remember, I think we might have took it up to 150cc. And I got very impatient and I started uh, thrashing it too quickly to see what speed I could get out of it. And uh, the piston ring snapped and it scored the barrel inside and then i had to pull it all apart again and we put new new piston rings in there but there was a very slight score on the barrel and after that it was losing compression and uh, it never reached that peak performance that it would have done if i'd have run it in so uh burning in running in and I'm using this burning disc and it works really well. It's so much better than just using a CD to run it in. So this is the disc itself. It has loads of different guide tones. And um, so it has white noise on this, pink noise, um, brown noise. And then it has mono brown noise. And it's got a really good glide tone that starts from the lowest frequency, uh, from the highest frequency, no, from the lowest frequency, sorry, right up to the highest frequency. So it's going straight across the spectrum and it really does give your system, uh, it sort of pushes it to a limit. And um, when it comes to breaking in cables, breaking in speaker cable interconnects it works super on those but it also works really well on the internal parts of your equipment so i thought i'd just do a video tonight just to say uh how over the moon i am with these capacitors now these were all together with the delivery so i usually go and pick them up from hi-fi collective but um I didn't have a lot of time, so I ordered them in, and uh, they work out at ten pound eighty-five, something like that each, plus the VAT, and then plus the delivery, come out to about thirty-two pound, and uh, so say sixteen pound each. I mean, this is like a major upgrade for me, a major upgrade. It's not just. Uh, subtle at all this this is absolutely massive and i can't believe it 
And I, I knew that inside this amplifier, there were these two film caps. And to me, they looked very cheap and nasty, even though they've got Luxman written on them. These are probably peanuts to buy. They are almost pence. They're just cheap. And these aren't like the, the, the clanchy ones that I put into the uh, the Cambridge Audio um, phono stage that I did a job on. These are a lot different and they're just cheap. And uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's just amazing what you can do. And uh, I mean, this is probably one of the biggest upgrades I've ever done. Now, there's lots of other parts in that amplifier, electrolytic capacitors and that. I'm not going to touch those this time. I'm leaving that. I've learned that once I get it pretty good and I'm over the moon with it, not to push it any further because sometimes you can push too far and then you ruin it. In this aspect, this is this is so good that I'm just keeping it like this. So... Uh, I think that's it for this video. I just had to uh, touch base with you on these upgrades. And uh, for anybody that tells you that breaking or burning or running in different parts of hi-fi equipment, speaker cable, accessories, any accessories, is talking rubbish. Because this is so good so thanks for watching another tweaker man video if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified each time i upload a new video and um, thank you for watching guys